Okay, now we're gonna do auto calibration. It's one of the correct way. We press here, hold a couple seconds, okay, and switch on your sun go. We put some gel on, um, we cal calibrate on 10 and 7.5. It says here. 10 and 7.5 here is 12.5 here is 5 5 mil what we're gonna do of course if we calibrate on the 10 we need range and that um, will be three signals at least it's mean that we need to have 10 10 10 and plus 10 for instance 14 range we change 40 probe delay it's normally around 9 plus minus now we're gonna put here around 9 okay well velocity it's um, we put 5960 Okay, we check menu there, leave like that, receiver, supposed to be dual, because now we use uh, again crystal, double crystal probe, two signals, you see one half and a second half, if, if it will be flat, it will be single. Problem. And now we use a dual, and it's a frequency five megahertz. We check probe it says here five megahertz. Okay. Next step, uh, we leave like that. Auto call. We're gonna use auto call to calibrate it. What we need to do? We go up. And we put a reference 1, 10 mil, reference 2, 7.5. Because it's 10 mil, 7.5. We can, we can always change here. Now we use first signal will be calibrate on 10. And second signal calibrate on 7.5. If we're gonna, if we're gonna measure around 11, 10, 9, 6, 5, it's, it's good. But if if we measure for instance five mil, we need to calibrate on five, five and seven point five. If we measure for instance twelve, we put there and there we check closest. Okay, what we're gonna do we we put on a ten, probe on a ten. Now we see signal. We put put a gate we put a gate on the first on the first signal and we put on 80 percent of the screen now it's 80 percent of the screen for instance if we change now and press here two seconds press here Yes, I put here and it's automatically 80% because in settings, check settings, it's supposed to be like that. As I mentioned, first signal SB, SBA, second SA, and SB. SA it's a first signal, SB it's second signal, and SBA we measure result pain it's that signal minus that and we getting this one okay this one is for dark curve we don't use it at the moment configuration number one 
configuration number two. Okay, here it's quite comfortable. We go up to change a step. I use one decibel because it's a gain. Don't be much comfortable when it's one. Gate A, A, and B positive. Okay, we go configuration number three. Configuration number four. And that all menu. We press again in the middle. Hold it. Okay, we come back. And now we go auto call again. Auto call. We press up. Press here. We have 80 because because 80 icon actually where how to do it here do you see function number two 80 out of 80 and that's why it's automatically give me 80 signal and the reason it's so top decibel step that's why when we press here we change it decibels okay we go back now it's 80 percent of the screen go to auto call and we need to start to record now we have on a 10 and here is on a 10 as reference one a reference to 7.5 7.5 now we need to start record we press there and now it's ready to record signal number one we press again there it's recorded and now we need to press uh, we need to change our next reference it's five now oh, it's yes it was 10 and now it's 7.5 it was 10 now it's 7.5 we're changing gate a uh, gate and we change a gate it's supposed to be 80 percent 80 percent if we go here press there now it's 80 doesn't change but if you press here it's become 80 percent of the screen because as i mentioned it's 80 percent already and now we need to record again we always record the first signal only change there on a step but we record the first thing and now we pressed record on the bottom and then automatically velocity you see the speed and prop delay is changed now we can go back in main menu and we see now velocity it's 6154 and prop delay change automatically we can check what it shows it shows a calibration block if you press 10 10 now we need to put gain less gain this gain 80 percent 80 percent already there and it shows as say it's first signal 10 but without pain it's 10 8 a second signal 20.28 that's why i don't like this system how to call but anyway this is correct way for calibration the next step is 7.5 and here you can see sa 7.5 but this as i show velocity i don't like it's supposed to be 7.5 that's why i change it as manual if we put there we, we change now we have 7.5 and here and we can change also play a little bit prop delay to 7.5 now we have 7.5 7.5 and there calibration block also we can see it's 7 7.5 clean my arm fingers now again 7.5 check yes 
and now we press on 10 have a look yes it's almost 10 perfect now we can come on we can now we can work for instance if we check now 12.5 12 12 you can see what it shows now we need to we need to move our gate to see it correctly we move gate we move gate this way and also gate b as i mentioned should you pick everyone on gate a and gate b and now we move there and now we check what it shows it shows 12.6 not so big different, 0 0.1 mil different. But if you go on 10, it shows almost 10. 7.5, but we need to move them. We need to move, move the gate to see it correctly. Okay, that's it.